Hi everyone, welcome to your lessons on environmental quality and factors that reduce environmental quality. So there'll be two things we'll be learning about in this tab of my place and livability website. Make sure you go ahead and check out the description in the video below as well. Uh, lesson one, we're going to introduce uh, the two terms to you. So environmental quality and how it is reduced. So what makes up environmental quality? What makes a good environment? And what reduces a good environment? What takes it away? Uh, let's have a quick review of last lesson just to get our brains going. Uh, what does Hudham stand for? So Hudham stands for hospitals, utilities, transport museums, and schools. And what is Hudham's? It's examples of services and facilities. And last time we went over how in urban areas, you're more likely to have access to certain services and facilities than say in urban areas. All right, you're to know and to be able to for this lesson. So this is what I want you to write down in your books. So you're to know by the end of this lesson, you'll need to know environmental quality and the mnemonic for this is lawn. And you're to be able to is explain how environmental quality is reduced. And that mnemonic is clipping. So that's just a remembering tool of how can we remember uh, all the things that make up these two terms. So we'll start with lawn. So these are the factors that make up environmental quality and we'll jot these down on the board together and you'll be able to remember it as lawn in your books as well. So the L stands for land quality, the A stands for air quality, the W stands for water quality, and then the N stands for noise quality. So how noisy it is in your place. These are the things that make up a good environment. So if you have good levels uh, of land, air, water, and noise quality, you're gonna have a good environment, but if you don't, you're not gonna have a good environmental quality, okay? All right, Clippin. Now, these are the things that reduce environmental quality. So these, so the things in Clippin take away the things from law to reduce that environmental quality, to make the environment worse. So the C stands for conflict. These are things like wars. The L stands for land degradation. Now, land degradation means anything that takes away or reduces from the environment or impacts on the environment in a negative way. P stands for population pressure. If you have too many people living in one area, of course, it's gonna have some environmental impacts. And then lastly, you've got natural disasters. So when a natural disaster occurs, uh, especially near an urban area, it can really take away from the environmental quality as well. Here's my golden rule to remembering uh, these two terms and what they're for. So if you are clipping your lawn, if you're clipping your lawn, you are taking away or reducing the environmental quality. The same as if you are actually clipping or cutting a lawn, you're taking it away. So that's how I remember it. That's why I made these two mnemonics. After you finish writing those down in your books, guys, after this discussion, um, make sure you go ahead and answer these questions in your book as well. There's 15 of them, and they are all to do with lawn and clipping. And then lastly, after you finish that, there is a Kahoot there. Uh, you can play with your class uh, on lawn and clipping as well. So guys, this lesson, we've gone over the two terms uh, that make up environmental quality and then the term that reduces environmental quality. So we've got lawn and clipping, and I'll see you guys for our next lesson uh, called Stop Disasters, and we'll look at uh, the effects some natural hazards or some natural disasters have on communities and how communities can plan for them. Um, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want to stay up to date with any changes I make to my websites or any changes or new videos I make. Thanks, guys.